Hi friends. Today we can discuss about the co-translational translocation of secretory protein across endoplasmic reticular membrane. After translation, how the polypeptide is transported to ER membrane. For this, the following components are needed. A signal sequence, 16 to 30 residues within 6 to 12 hydrophobic residues forms a signal sequence. One or more positively charged amino acids adjacent to them. It will direct the ribosome to the endoplasmic reticulum and initiates the translocation of the growing polypeptide across the endoplasmic reticulum. Usually, the growing polypeptide contain a signal sequence consisting of 16 to 30 residues of which 6 to 12 are hydrophobic residues and one or more positively charged amino acid adjacent to them. Next factor is a receptor and its recognizing protein. HRP signal recognition particle as well as its receptor, SRP receptor. The SRP is a complex consisting of six proteins and uh, one 300 nucleotide RNA. SRP receptor, which SRP binds, is a um, it consists of two subunits, alpha and beta, and the alpha one is larger. This is a signal recognition particle. which consisting of uh, RNA as well as proteins this is consisting of different functional domains of which P54 is which binds to the ER signal sequence it uses hydrophobic binding groove to interact with the ER signal sequence and the several other domains are exist to P19 P68, P72 and um, P68, P72 is involved in the uh, record for the protein um, translocation and P9, P14 is responsible for interacting with the ribosome and RNA is also present. The third component we need is a translocation channel. SEC61 is the translocation channel through which the polypeptide need to be translocated to the endoplasmic reticulum. Sex 61 consists of uh, three subunits, alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha is the largest containing uh, 10 membrane spanning alpha helices. And energy source for all this translocation process is um, uh, given generated by GTP hydrolysis. Let's see how the process occurs. The synthesis starts from a free ribosome first. The whole complex must be translocated to the ER before the 70th residue was added. Without ER, the synthesis will come to halt. The ribosome starts the translation process before it reaching the 70th residue it need to be translocated to the endoplasmic reticulum so in this figure we can see the SRP receptor on the endoplasmic reticulum membrane and SRP which bound to the signal peptide signal sequence in the polypeptide. So the SRP binds to the SRP receptor of at the endoplasmic reticulum before the 70th residue is added so that the ribosome get translocated near the endoplasmic reticulum. For this the following components are needed a signal sequence 16 to 30 residues within 
6 to 12 hydrophobic residues forms a signal sequence. One or more positively charged amino acids adjacent to them. It will direct the ribosome to the endoplasmic reticulum and initiates the translocation of the growing polypeptide across the endoplasmic reticulum. Usually, the growing polypeptide contain a signal sequence consisting of 16 to 30 residues of which 6 to 12 are hydrophobic residues and one or more positively charged amino acid adjacent to them. As I said earlier in, uh, in the earlier slide, if the protein translated is correct, it is destined to uh, the endoplasmic reticulum, then it, GTP adults occur which trigger the transtracone. Transtracone is the sex 61. Get open and the protein will enter the endoplasmic reticulum lumen. This is a signal recognition particle which consisting of uh, RNA as well as proteins. This is consisting of different functional domains of which P54 is which binds to the ER signal sequence. It uses hydrophobic binding groove to interact with the ER signal sequence and the several other domains are okay. as the polypeptide synthesis is about to over the C terminal sequence of the polypeptide is recognized by a signal peptidase in the endoplasmic reticulum which cleave the ER signal sequence after it enters the endoplasmic reticulum lumen. Let's see how the process occurs. The synthesis starts from a free ribosome first. The whole complex must be translocated to the ER before the 70th residue was added. Without ER, the synthesis will come to halt. The ribosome starts the translation process before it reaching the 70th residue it need to be as a conclusion the SRP molecule which binds to the growing polypeptide um, uh, carries the ribosome towards the endoplasmic reticulum the SRP will bind to the SRP receptor at the um, ER membrane and then a GDP hydrolysis occur which opens the adjacent um, translocon that is the sex 61 and uh, then the polypeptide will enter after the polypeptide synthesis is over uh, the a signal peptide is cut uh, down the ER signal uh, and uh, further the protein will um, um, uh, coil into the, um, its confirmation further con functional confirmation either uh, tertiary or quaternary confirmation and um, uh, hope you have um, um, following the video thank you for viewing this video please comment if you have any doubts regarding the video we will come with more interesting topics Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.